think that we are just look these guys here at Colorado Combat Club they put on great events every single time and I have the pleasure of being able to come here and watch these fights with you discuss these fights with you just you don't get quality like this on a local show absolutely and you know in the intermission Josh it was definitely gratifying and heartwarming to supplement what you said right there multiple other fighters here on the Colorado scene from various different levels gave praises and compliments to the shows that we put on here from the Mandala brothers to John Reimer to Dylan King just lots of uh, lots of established guys Marcus Edwards guys who have been fixtures in the fight game for a long time giving us praise here at Colorado Combat Club so you know what we will smell the roses a little bit it does feel great also another one of them being a guy who's going to be in the corner right here Micah Haas Micah Haas was our main event for our last show and got a big victory here at Colorado Combat Club. But he is always high on the praise for the show and for the professionalism that we have here within our organization. Yes. Making his way to the blue corner, we have the chosen Juan, Juan Rosales. The 27-year-old comes to us out of Lakewood, Colorado, training at Genesis Training Academy. Does his strength and conditioning at Landau Performance. Fancies himself as an all-around mixed martial artist. He is currently sporting a 1-0 professional record. In his corner tonight, you will have Peter Straub as well as Jake Ramos and Micah Haas. He spent a considerable amount of his training time throughout this camp with Bellator veteran Archie Colgan, Caleb Hall, Micah, Micah Haas, Danny Gonzalez, Nick Montez, and another Bellator vet in Grant Neal. I would like to know how much training he's done with Grant Neal. I know Grant Neal lost a tremendous amount of weight dropping down to 185, but how many times you see an 85 or an 35 or training together? Yeah, 25, but... 20, even better, 25. I know, I know that it goes right in line with what you're saying, but at the same time, you know, drill work, yo. Know, uh, I'm a conspiracy theorist here. I'm sorry, guys. Just... But one thing that we do know about Juan, you know, Juan's fought for us ever since his very first amateur fight. This kid has been someone who's been in the room since he was a kid. You know, he's part of that generation of guys who has been around in, in the training room, whether it was wrestling or working on other parts of his game for a long time. And he's going to have his hands full tonight as he takes on the Puerto Rican demon, Alex Rego, who Alex Rego was our co-main event for our last show as well. Had a big TKO victory over, uh, over Jay Ponder in that last contest. So Rego is certainly going to be hungry for this contest for himself as well. The Puerto Rican Demon, 26 years old, hailing originally out of Chicago, Illinois, now has that X on his chest, representing Factory X out of Inglewood, Colorado. He also does his strength and conditioning out of Landau Performance, fancies himself as a thug jitsu fighter. In his corner tonight, we have Rafa Will, Alexis Apodaca, who is a veteran of our Colorado Combat Club cage, and our former Colorado Combat Club lightweight champion, in Markel Maderos. And current UFC lightweight Markel Maderos. Absolutely. Rafa Wheel, also our veteran voice of the 5280 tie ring. Alex Rigo fancies his favorite fight as favorite fighter as Brandon Raw Dog Royval, who will be competing who we're gonna tomorrow. We're going to see night. tomorrow, yeah. That's a, that's a great person to have as your favorite fighter. And a little chipping going back and forth between our last main event participants and Micah Haas and Oscar Herrera right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your next bout is the professional MMA bout. three five minute winners. This is your cool main event of the evening. It is brought to you by 58, 5280 Boy Time. Introducing to you first, standing out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet, inch, 8 inches tall. He weighed in at already 125 pounds on the top. He is making his professional MMA debut. He represents the Genesis Training Academy in Eastern Training Center. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you what? His opponent, by 
standing at the red corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall. He weighed in at a rate of 126 pounds on the dock. He has a professional FFA record of one win and two defeats. He comes with us with that next on his chest, Rapid Factory X. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Alex the Franco Ricky Demon Rico! Hey, man in the cage, Mr. Tim. Milk. Come in here. He's and the former MCF and Fury amateur champion, Alex Rigo, has a no look touch of all the gloves, business gentlemen. on his face. We're in treat. We're in shock. We're ready for a fight right now. Juan Rosales in the black combat corner trunks. Alex Rigo in the red. Rigo doing a good job finding his range right now. He's long and lanky for the weight class. Juan works with a lot of explosive bursts, so that's something certainly to keep an eye out for, but Rego yeah. is a volume guy who will throw punches and bunches and is really good off of his back as well. Nice return. You see those naked leg kicks a lot. And if you're going to throw a naked leg kick, it can easily be countered with a 1-2 down the pipe. Only speaking from experience here. Just a time or two. Just a time or two that I got clipped. But to uh, that notion, though, Josh, at one point, that was how the fastest knockout in Colorado Combat Club history had been secured yeah. by our own, uh, our own veteran in Alonzo Adams. It's been since broken, but, you know, at one point, that was the top mark. Rigo doing a great job with his pressure, not over committing too much. Because you can see that Juan wants to explode with one big, two big shots. Juan keeps trying to chip away with those leg kicks. Nice teep by Rigo. Those teeps are working in his favor. He should add a little bit more. I mean, him being the longer fighter, if he wants to keep it at that range, he's going to have to continue to use those long-range tactics, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Left hand catches Rosales off balance on the kick. Both guys slanging, though. Both of them are throwing. And this is... When I looked at you and I saw this matchup, I knew immediately this is going to be fireworks. Especially there's a little history, you know, between uh, some of these two flyweight camps. The uh, the camps, yeah, there is some history between these camps. You have some jabroni over here just waving his hands or something. You know, Josh, when you have a situation like this where one of the guys in the corner has fought Rego, and Micah Haas fought Rego last spring, how does that factor into potential game planning or instruction as Rego secures this takedown here? It, it actually does factor a lot, believe it or not. You know, having, especially when you have your coaches to work on a certain opponent for an extended period of time, you can find tendencies and Especially from a confidence standpoint, if your teammate was in there and he got the better of someone, then you're just taking what your teammate told you worked for him and you think that that confidence is going to work for you. But everyone's different. Different strokes for different folks. Certainly, and that was a very tightly contested split decision there. It was but... very tight, very close. Could have went either way. Rigo doing a good job here, just controlling the pace right now. This is what you want to do when you have someone that is explosive. 
So you want to put them on their back, make them work, put blood into their muscles so they can't be as explosive. But also, uh, to give credit where credit's due, the, the framework initially there kept Rago from being able to advance positions, but once he faced up to Turtle, Rago now has gotten to the back and has the body triangle in place. Rago strong with the handcuff on the right wrist. Rigo doing a good job here. And what was a back and forth affair through about three and a half minutes of that round ended up what you would have to think is a secured round for Alex Rago with that takedown and back take. I think the takedown and the back control, yeah, it takes that first round. But tightly contested. The striking was pretty even. Stri back and forth. The striking was pretty even, yeah. Now, if you are Markel Medeiros, what are you offering Alex Rago right now? Breathing. Breathing. Get his breathing back to center because uh, this type of fight, this type of environment where the camps are both contested against each other, the person who's going to have the most calm mindset, the most centered mindset is going to be the victor here. And especially given that there's a little bit of grudge match factor going on, does that play a role in the nerves and controlling the breathing? In, in in one corner, yes. In the other, no. Because you know Rigo sees Micah in his corner, and he wants he wants his revenge. He wants to show. He just wants to get the win. So it's it's on Rigo to center himself. Level change to the body there from Rosales. Teep on the return from Rigo. And a flurry with the pressure there from Rigo. Or excuse me, from Juan Rosales. Big left hand. And a smile exchange from both guys. They know what they're in the there thick of is, things right now. They're in a fight, and they know it. Those teeps from Rig are just stabbing. Go, go. Mm. Interesting stoppage from Tim Mills there. It was more off of, uh, you know, the fighter asking for it. I yeah. Mean, hey, he's timeout. His back was to me, so I didn't have the angle to be able to see where it landed. He was pointing at it, so it probably hit. I, I didn't see it directly, but I did see him calling for it. But then again, I mean, it was a it was a little delay on the stoppage. It could just be normal speed for Tim. <laughs> and back to slanging four ounce leather right there in the center of the cage. Big leg kick lands there from Juan Rosales. Knee from the front headlock there, landed by Rosales to Rigo. Rigo now looking to secure the takedown up against the fence. And takedown secured. And the takedown is Rigo. secured.
And position reversal there from Juan Rosales now taking the back of Alex Rego. And they are scrambling out here. Power half in place right there from Juan Rosales. Rego able to break the hold. Rosales with one hook in right now. Rego still trying to scrape his way out of this position, but the back control is definitely racking up on the score sheet right now. And in a scramble, Rosales finds his way into mount. Short time in the round, Rego's able to base himself back out now. Rosales looking to flatten him from the back. Handcuff in place. Guard recollected from Rego now at this point. Scramble and reversal of position now. And short time left in the round now. And presumably we're even through we're two We're even. Rounds. We're 1-1 one, one in this fight, guys. It's who can who can get their energy back. I think Rigo's leg is broken, if I'm being honest. It's either that or he might have got some drop foot There's action going There's something going, going of on with his leg for sure. He does not look comfortable with it like Tim Mills calling in for the doctor. Yeah, they have ice on it now. It's... And conversation going on between referee Tim Mills and Doc Alex. We're bouncing around. We're bouncing around. We're ready to go. Oh, he can Drop foot. Yeah, it's drop foot. Yeah, his leg. He can't step on it. It is all over. TKO victory for Juan Rosales. You would have thought these guys won the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, I mean, we got to get some, get some crowd control going right now. Guys crossing over the barrier at this point. There's obviously some uh, some emotion that went into that matchup between these guys, and you know, showing our support from the camps. But at the same time, we can't have just everybody and their brother jumping barriers here. I don't care if they're UFC vets, BKFC, Bellator, whatever it is. You got to respect the promotion. Yeah, you got to respect the organization.
Good showing by one. Well, that was a tough fight. Great job. A hey, gritty back and forth affair right there. Nothing but credit and respect to Juan Rosales for getting the job done tonight. Hopefully it's a quick and speedy recovery process for Alex Rego.